Log on to patreon.com forward slash Dane Calloway or paypal.me forward slash Dane Calloway to support me, my channel, and my content. Any amount is very much appreciated, and I humbly thank you. I am documenting this on August 6th. 2017. I am still making my way throughout the historic landmasses of the Virginia Colony of London, also known as the Charter of the Virginia Company of London. But the majority of people watching knows this land as Virginia, the Commonwealth State. And make no mistake, I am not in London. I am still in North America at this time further south from where I documented my last vlog in Jamestown Island. You wouldn't believe where I am right now, but I must share this important information with all of you, for this is very essential when it comes to the authentic historical doctrine of our true indigenous ancestors of North America. Many people are familiar with the story concerning the information that I'm about to share with you, but those people that have shared this story tends to leave out multiple key factors surrounding its importance to our history and its relevancy of details revealing the factual truth about this one leading individual having been a contemporary of the indigenous aborigines. So join me on this journey and bear witness to what you're about to see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right now, I'm in Southampton, Virginia, Southampton. I'm like about five or six miles from Jerusalem, uh, which is now called Portland. And I wanted to grab this real quick. I hope you guys can see me. I wanted to grab this sign real quick because I'm almost there. And they have this on the street. I mean, literally, um, it's called, this is called Jerusalem Parkway. Uh, this is the Southampton County sign. I wanna point something out to you uh, so you can get an idea where I'm coming from on this. If you can't see this, I'm definitely gonna be putting a picture up. Uh, but that says Department of Historic Resources 2003. I also wanna point out that it says, um, the preacher and slave, you know, they call him a slave, Nat Turner. Uh, <clears throat> this is where the rebellion took place. Actually, it's a little bit further down. I'm going to show you exactly where it took place. Hopefully, if I could get to it, because the way they set the Nat Turner story up, since everybody got, since everybody got, and you're hearing the cars go past me, since everybody got interested in the Nat Turner story, they started mo removing uh, certain artifacts and certain things that you could catch up on uh, with so you won't know that Nat Turner was in fact an indigenous aborigine right here in Turtle Island aka North America but I just want to point out the fact that it says um, I mean of course you can see the Nat Turner na name this says the county seat is Cortland which I'm heading right to formerly called Jerusalem that's very important. Soon after transitioning into power as the King of England in 1589, the Catholic Scottish ruler, King James IV of Scotland, became King James I of England. James was solely responsible for dubbing the land occupied by the Nataway Indians as Jerusalem, Virginia, in the early 1600s once he ordered white settlers to colonize land in the quote new world not obstructing lands in florida and the caribbean due to the spaniards overseeing those indian territories already preventing any contravention of set treaties the king james version bible is named after him due to james commissioning it and later authorizing the publication of it in 1611 I'll go into full detail about this in a later documentary, but its relevancy is essential to note due to its timely establishment surrounding this topic. I am here, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I'm inside of the town of Cortland, 
okay town of Cortland which is a part of Southampton Virginia and yes this is the Nat Turner's insurrection um, historic marker um, I'm gonna read this off to you and uh, just oh before I do that let me make note you know how I do this note that this says Department of Historic Resources 1991 okay so we're gonna be going into this so I'm gonna read this off quickly um, uh, if you can't hear me quite well, it's because I'm literally right here. You can see the cotton field that it's directly beside. Notice that this is a cotton field that is directly beside and across the street is also a cotton field, um, which is, which is quite, you know, the spot that they chose to put this historic marker in. Keep that in mind. Uh, cotton fields is where this is located right here off of um, 35 in which I j just showed you guys about the um, initial landmark of where Southampton County started um, right there off of Jerusalem Park Road and yes this is nothing but cotton fields and to go ahead back to the I'm going to read this off right now to go back to it it says, on the night of 21, 22, August 1831, we know that is August uh, 21st through the 22nd of 1831, Nat Turner, a slave preacher, began an insurrection some seven miles west with a band that grew to be about 70. Uh, what they're talking about is like 70 uh, people that he had running with him. They moved northeast toward the Southampton County seat Jerusalem, now called Cortland, okay, uh, which is where I'm located right now, killing about 60 whites. After two days, militant men and armed civilians quelled the revolt. Turner was captured on 30 October, which is um, the 30th of October, tried and convicted, and which I do want to mention, guys, um, that I passed the Cortland uh, courthouse which was on the way down here, but it came up so quick that I wasn't able to grab that footage. Um, if I'm able to go back, I will, but I do want to make way to Fort Christiana, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to have time to do that because, of course, I'm running on a time schedule here and I'm getting bit up and ate up because everything is up to my feet right here uh, because of where it's located. As you can tell, I had to jump over a ditch just to get here off of the road I mean it is awkwardly placed okay uh, so let me go back to this uh, he was tried and convicted and hanged on November 11th I'm going to say it correctly they said 11 November some 30 blacks were hanged or expelled from Virginia in response to the revolt the General Assembly passed harsher slave laws and censored abolitionists um, abolitionists like for example Frederick Douglass for example I'm going to use him as an example he was also an abolitionist usually the abolitionists are now known as your modified versions of politicians which is you know the Democrats or the Republicans and I'm out here to uncover all of the history that wasn't told okay and there's a reason why they're separating so much stuff about the Nat Turner story because of course they don't want you to know most of the stuff that I do know and mo some people do know of I'm just going to try to capture it as much as I can I'm probably going to be doing some more recording in full Christiana I hope I could throw all of this in one video uh, because everything is about an hour and a half away from each other even Rebecca's house the um, house that one second Yeah, that house um, was removed uh, from its initial location, from its initial location, from its initial location, from its initial location. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I'm trying to stay up in this light so you can see me. As you can see, obviously, it's nighttime, and I'm working with the light here in the truck. And I got a couple of more that I'm, I'm definitely going to be going to. But I do want to wrap up the situation dealing with Nat Turner, not in this video. So we're probably going to have to be doing more vlogs dealing with the Nat Turner situation. Because keep in mind, the way they had everything set up, guys, it's not all in one spot. 
Like they purposely took it from one spot and separated it. I don't know why they're removing that stuff, but I mean, of course it's obvious. They don't want to have everybody um, knowing that Nat Turner is an indigenous Aborigine or AKA Indian, you know, what they like to call us. Uh, because that's, you know what, just go take a look at the video. Um, that will, you know, get into further detail. It's called The Untold Truth About the uh, Nat Turner Rebellion. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the name of it. If not, I'm definitely going to be linking it up above if I haven't done so already. Um, and also, um, and there's a couple other things that I do want to mention. First, I definitely want to be giving some shout outs uh, to some people that have been supporting me. And I greatly appreciate this, guys. Humbly, even the people that haven't even supported me but plan to do so in the future, I humbly appreciate you too as well. And of course, I will be shouting you guys out as well. From the people that have pledged to me on my Patreon, we're going to start off with Daryl Harnett who pledged $5. Thank you, Daryl Harnett, for pledging $5. I greatly appreciate that. Lee Craft Thompson. Thank you, Lee Craft Thompson, for pledging $20. Thank you. I really appreciate your pledge of $20. That is greatly appreciated. I humbly thank you. Demetrius Mark. Demetrius Mark pledged $10. I greatly appreciate that, Demetrius. Thank you so much. Christopher Jones pledged $10 to me as well. Thank you, Mr. Jones. That is humbly appreciated. Paul Rogers. Pledge five dollars to me. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. I appreciate the five dollar pledge. Shabra Imayu pledged five dollars. Thank you, Shabra Imayu, for your five dollar pledge. That is greatly appreciated. Tyra Sherman, Tyra Sherman pledged ten dollars. Thank you, uh, Miss Tyra, for your pledge of ten dollars. All right, and Darlene Lee for your twenty dollar pledge. Whoa, this is amazing, guys. Darlene Lee for your twenty dollar pledge. I greatly appreciate that. Um, Wow, I can't thank you guys enough for this. This is amazing. Kiefer Bay, Kiefer Bay, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I do apologize. I did not mean to. Kiefer Bay pledged $10 as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Sandy Bottom pledged $20 as well. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. This helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, and next is Brian Smasher. She pledged $5 to me. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Mr. Smasher. And Trent Watt. Trent Watt for pledging $20 as well. Thank you, Mr. Watt. That is greatly appreciated. Each and everybody that pledges uh, $20, you definitely about to be having a special, special, uh, let me just say surprise. Something that's very good is about to happen. For you guys that pledge 20, for the ones that pledge 10, definitely. I'm sure you're seeing all of my documentary clips uh, early before anybody gets to see them. All right, and the next few shout outs I want to give are the people that have donated to me to my PayPal. Uh, the first person is Sovereign Lawn Care. Sovereign Lawn Care sounds like a business. Thank you very much for your $10 donation. And the person left a note from Abi Washi. Great work, brother. Keep that knowledge coming. Abi Washi, I greatly appreciate your $10 donation and I so will. Thank you so much. The next person I want to shout out is Jonathan Brown for your $10 donation. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan Brown. I greatly appreciate that. John Tay Powell, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, it's, it could be John Tay or Juan Tay Powell, but I believe it's John Tay Powell for your $20 donation. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much, it's Andrea. Arkambo, Andre Arkambo, thank you for your $20 donation. I greatly appreciate that. Um, and oh, she left a note as well saying, thank you for your content, resources, and time you put into each of your documentaries. Thinking out loud makes the world look different. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Guided Restoration, I believe that's a business. And that business has donated $15 to me. I really appreciate that. Oh, and they left a note saying, Keep up the good work, bruh. Keep enlightening the people. Thank you, and I greatly appreciate that. All right, and the next person I want to shout out is Marcus Lewis uh, for donating $10 to me. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. I greatly appreciate that. And he also left a note saying, God watching over you. I pray for your safety and hope your wisdom enhance. Your journalism is the best I've seen. Please continue to use your brain cells for righteous. Your reward is heaven, brother. Blessed. Thank you so much, Mr. Lewis. That is greatly appreciated. 
I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Last but not least, I definitely have to shout out T-Shirt Studios RVA for making my I'm Just Here to Make You Think shirt that I'm wearing uh, today. Thank you so much. I humbly appreciate that. And thank you so much for your support, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for the um, shout outs for this particular moment. Um, so what I'm going to be doing next is I definitely have to tap into uh, finishing up uh, for Christiana so you can see the rebellion sites. And they also have cemeteries over there. Um, hopefully they're not touched. Uh, hopefully they're not touched and I could go over there and film that as well. Um, so a lot of people are requesting uh, some help that they need um, trying to find their ancestors grave sites. Now keep in mind I mentioned this in uh, one of my previous videos that the federal government has been removing the majority of our ancestors grave sites but I know where we could get the records of the cemeteries and when they were buried, where they were buried. Okay, I'm talking about definitely in areas going further back from what you know what they were uh initially called today like say for instance if it was hampton i could go as far back as point comfort or even further but i know if that point comfort uh was what the original name is for hampton it went from point comfort to um fort moreau to hampton so i'm definitely gonna be helping out those people that have been reaching out to me requesting that and i'm definitely going to be showing each and every uh, hopefully, I just hope this happens. I'm definitely going to be showing all the cemeteries there. I'm um, getting across some last names. I might even have some extra footage uh, that I'm going to definitely post. Thank you for, I know I've been saying that a lot, but thank you for checking out this video. And it's late. Um, and I do apologize once again, everyone, for not having that footage there. But I'm going to make up for it on the next vlog. Keep in mind, these are not scripted. So I'm Dane Calloway, and I'm just here to make you think.